Hello, what up, what's up? I'm Misha, and this is Misha C. Tarot. I hope you're doing well. All praise is due to the Most High. I thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Angels of the Most High, with your white light, I ask that you guide and protect us as we go into the Tarot. Allow me to channel clear and honest messages. I'm not going to hold you. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this. If you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified for new content. Returning subscribers, returning subscribers, I just want to say that I truly appreciate you and I thank you so much. I thank you so much. Hit that like button. That's the best way for us to energetically connect. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Holy Spirit, please give me clear and honest messages for the collective somebody's baby somebody's pregnant okay and your baby is gonna come before the due date i'm getting like a week i'm seeing seven so this could also have something to do with your seventh seventh house okay but um I'm not, I'm not getting that what i'm getting is that the number seven and um due date and um yeah somebody somebody's uh birth they're gonna have the baby before the actual due date Okay, let's get into the reading, Holy Spirit. Clear and honest messages for the collective. What important messages do you have for the collective today, Holy Spirit? So somebody could definitely be good at gardening or like um they can have a very uh they could have a green thumb and i'm also getting like a pothead somebody could be a, like a real true pothead like they smoke a lot of um weed okay there could be a very low vibrational person that is hearing the truth for the first time and it hurts but I'm also getting that this could be somebody that is hearing the truth and the truth is hurting them and it's putting them in these low vibrations hearing this or this could be just being around this person and being or being around a low vibrational person and being in your truth and being who you are this person can't take it this is like hurtful to them they can't take it they can't handle you they can't handle your energy they can't handle it and then we also have here, tell me why. Somebody forgives you, but they want to know why. And this, okay, for somebody, they say they forgive you, but they won't ever forget it. They forgive you, but they won't ever forget it. And somebody also wants to know why. Why did you do it? I'm, I'm hearing, why did you say that? Why did you do it? Okay. But I heard, why did you say it? Why was it even said? Why would you fix your lips to say it? Mm. Okay. And then we have a few more messages here. We have, wow, it says shine a light on it. Shine a light on it. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Shine a light on it. Somebody could uh, use a form of transportation like a skateboard, a bike. Somebody's a really good rollerblader or like um, Uber or something like that. Somebody doesn't have their own personal transportation. Somebody uses, I'm getting heavily like skateboard, bike, um, a motor scooter or something like that. And then we says, I can't get it out of my head. Rumination, like somebody is stuck on the thought of something. They just, they're coming to the realization of it is what the fuck it is if it look like a duck walk like a duck and the bitch is quacking guess what it's a fucking duck okay not no fucking goose not no fucking hen or swan bitch that's a duck okay and at the bottom of the deck we have here I trusted you it says I forgive you but we have here also I trusted you like 
why tell me why this could have something to do with the children or this could be somebody um with like childlike behaviors very immature Okay, well, and I'm also getting, yeah, this could also be somebody that has, they feel like they're, um, they have some type of superiority over you or seniority over the group or I don't know what this is. Let's get into the tarot, Holy Spirit. Please give me clear and honest messages for the collective. Tell me more about this low vibration. Clearing on this messages, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about low vibrations. The truth hurts. I can't get it out of my head. Low vibrations and the truth hurts, Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Queen of Cups, the Strength card, and the Nine of Swords with the High Priest. It's like it was an unspoken truth. You know how you have those unspoken codes, like you know what the fuck you're not supposed to do, or like you know you you know the motherfucking rules, even though nobody explained the rules to you. And what I'm getting here is that this Queen of Cups with the Strength card. This was heavy for this person to even talk about or to verbalize or to express or to even bring up or for somebody to even come to them and say this or do this and I don't know if it was the way this person did it, it was very low vibrational and what was made it hurtful but this person is just hurt by this they feel some type of shame or embarrassment I don't want that like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I don't want it like that. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The strength card with the nine of swords. The truth hurts. Low vibration. Oh my gosh. The ten of swords and the five of cups with the <gasps> king of swords. Th whatever the fuck this person, you laid it on um, Or they laid it on you. Hot tamale god damn hot potato it's hot and it's heavy i don't know what the fuck was said but i know it was the truth okay because this person is taking this really hard somebody's name could be london i'm just getting like the walk of shame like mm, mm, mm. The walk of fucking shame. Tell me more. Ten of swords and the five of cups, Holy Spirit. And I'm going to leave it right there. Any final messages for the collective regarding the truth? King of Wands. Wow. With the page of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Okay, see what I'm getting here is... With the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Temperance, the Eight of Swords. See, this could have been something that somebody wasn't um, paying attention to uh, not, or not giving enough attention to. I'm definitely getting that there's a need for somebody to own it. Whatever this is, take it for what it is. Use it. Apply it to your life. Okay? It's a need for somebody to own it and learn from it. This is a lesson that needs to be taught or needs to be learned and somebody keeps playing something over and over and over and over and over and over it's like okay get the shit off a of repeat and use it do something with it take charge of the situation take control i feel like the power is in your hands with the strength card here it's always been in your hands
Tell me more about this pothead or this person that uses a different form of transportation, Holy Spirit. We have here the Three of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, the Fool card, and the Lover's card. Whoa. With the Four of Pentacles. <coughs> okay, and we also have here Shine a Line on it once again, okay? So, so what I'm getting here with this um, Three of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, that somebody is working on a hidden project or they've been working on something in the background. And whatever they're working on or whatever their person this this could have caused some type of loss some type of disconnect some type of pain some type of hurt or sorrow there's a lot of a lot of um, sadness around this reading with the five of Pentacles the lovers card and the fool I'm definitely getting that it could have been a third uh, party situation or this could have been like a person dealing with more than one person and then deciding the person that they want to actually commit to and be with it didn't go as planned with the three of swords here and the five of pentacles the full card the lover's card this person taking a leap of faith towards this person now this person could be a green thumb or they could be a pothead they could drive uber skateboards bike i don't know but i know that this is somebody that has a different form of uh, like transportation See, yeah, like they were so confident that they were going to bag this, land this, be in this commitment with this person, be in a relationship with this person, but it did not work out that way. This person could have uh, chose to be single or wants to be single. I don't feel like there's another person as to why they didn't commit to you or I don't feel like there's another person as to why you didn't commit to them. I just feel like this person is enjoying their self enjoying their time getting to know their self and being single with the nine of pentacles the world card the sun card the ace of wands the nine nine of wands six of wands tell me more holy spirit the lover's card with the five of pentacles lover's card with the five of pentacles <coughs> yeah oh shit Oh, shit, shit, shit. We have here the Queen of Swords and the Empress sliding across. Way the hell over there on that Queen of Cups and the Strength card. With the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Nine of Cups. Now, let me find the fuck out that this Empress found out the truth about this Emperor. Found out some type of truth about this Emperor. This could be where they come or where they go. Because you don't always know what motherfuckers doing when they not around you. You don't. You can say whatever you want. You do not know what people are doing when they're not around you. You can't watch people 24-7 and you shouldn't have to. But I feel like this empress definitely found out something about this emperor. Or she could have found out something about this queen of swords here. But somebody is cutting something out or cutting someone out. With the Queen of Wands here, all of the queens are showing their self right behind the Emperor. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Empress, Queen of Swords. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. See, this is going to cause a tower moment for somebody. This is going to bring a tower for somebody. This person coming in and shining a light on something, speaking some type of truth, offering their love. Tell me more, what is this Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands? What is this person coming in with, Holy Spirit? That's the Emperor. I can't make this shit up with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this, uh, with the Chariot, the World Card, the uh, Ace of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this Emperor is coming in with some type of shower that wants to shower this empress with something because see this king of wands emperor is owning this shit whatever this is this person is owning it and they're like hey it is what it is 
and this is this is what I can do. This is what I can offer. This is what I can do to make the situation better. Or what can I do? And this empress is asking this emperor to tell them why. I forgive you, but I won't forget it. Just tell me why. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, with this an apology here and the Ace of Wands, like there's a new opportunity. See, this emperor was like sweating. This empress had this motherfucking emperor sweating because they ain't know what the hell. This empress is capable of a whole bunch of shit now. This motherfucker pulled the reins around this motherfucker. She ain't got to do shit but whisper. <laughs> what the baby say? Go bum that nigga and every nigga with him. Nah. <laughs> for real. But this emperor, it kind of threw him for a loop because he wasn't expecting this empress to be so forgiving. So now this emperor is um, opening up. You feel me? Opening up letting this empress know why so if you haven't found out why see they feel a little fearful but they know that this is the only way because they don't want to be single they don't want to be by themselves they had a choice to be this empress gave them a choice to be but this emperor know that this empress is their divine counterpart person's not going to hold back anything if you want to know why they're going to tell you why this, they're grateful for your forgiveness tell me more holy spirit yeah the star card <laughs> wow wow with the king of wands the queen of wands here showing herself the star card with the temperance this person is so grateful for your forgiveness they're so grateful for the opportunity to be in your presence again or to be in your good graces again, I should say. With the Queen of Wands here, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cup, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun card, this person is happy. And they wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, the Holy Spirit is saying I'll leave it right there, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you for joining me. Go ahead and hit that like button. If this resonated for you, be sure to take only what resonates and leave the rest. I love you. Peace.